Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, how do volcanoes erupt? To understand how a volcano erupts, we'll first need to take a look at the structure of the Earth. Earth has different layers, which include the inner and outer core, the mantle and the crust. We'll focus on the mantle and crust, as this is where all volcanic action takes place. The crust is the outermost layer, as well as the thinnest layer on Earth. Right below the crust is the mantle, where temperatures can reach up to 1000 degrees Celsius. Due to the high temperatures and the increasing pressure in the mantle, rocks can melt to form molten rock or magma. Magma has less density than the rock surrounding it, and materials with less density will usually float or rise above higher density items. The magma will try to float to the top and seek out cracks and spaces to go into, which can form magma chambers. With the right conditions, such as extreme pressure, changing heat, and tectonic activity, the magma can rise through the magma chamber and erupt through the Earth's crust, causing a volcanic explosion. The magma we see flowing on the surface is lava, and as the lava cools, it forms a volcano. Just like there are different sizes and shapes of volcanoes, there is also different types of volcanic eruptions, such as Hawaiian eruptions, which occur when lava shoots into the air in jets through a vent. The jets can last for as long as days and is known as fire fountaining. Probably the most dangerous eruption is the Plinian eruption, which is the largest and most violent. This eruption releases an incredible amount of energy and can cause an eruption of gas and ash that can reach up to 50 kilometers or 35 miles high. The most well-known Plinian eruption is that of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Regardless of the type of eruption, it's best to be as far away from one as you possibly can. So that answers, how do volcanoes erupt? That took some thinking.